Welcome, we are continuing our story about Arc Linux D PUBG. So we're at Arc Linux and uh, we have the D ISO, the smaller ISO, and we've installed it, we went through phase two, explained everything, went through phase three, still uploading and uh, converting. And then it's the last item, phase four, you can run Nemesis scripts if you want to. There's a lot of more software that's coming Dropbox, InSync, uh, Spotify, VirtualBox, uh, all the fonts for the conkeys, the fun script, which is super, and it will apply to anything really Arch Linux, Arch Linux D, B, Arch Linux, anything Arch based basically. Okay, so this is, has not been done yet. So, what it says here is you get all this software like uh, Discord as well. Uh, so, take a look if it's something you if there's something in there that you like then there's the video as well i can make hundreds of them but it's like i said it's a one video for everybody for any linux uh, arco or arch linux arch linux d b arch it's for everything so i'm not gonna make uh, 10 videos about the same thing so this applies you can install more stuff now the next thing to do is um, make a overview picture, an overview uh, video, I mean. So in phase three in Budgie, we have this Budgie gallery. And in this article, we need to have also an up-to-date video. And there it is. So lots of pictures, but as you see, Arch merged, so 55. This means that Budgie was really the very, very first of all the videos that I made. So we need to update this one. So let's tweak and team our system. That's the goal or the, the purpose of this video. So this is looking okay, but of course it's uh, the standard look, which is also already nice with this black, back, black background. And here we can set more elements like uh, output and the input and a button where you, everything is happening if it loads it does not seem to load this element we know that uh, the budgie is from solace and we believe that it might not have a future on arch linux we'll see if it will keep uh, being here or not going to be maintained or not but um, one thing we can do is test out the following and that's also something interesting to see and that's termites let's go for a terminal and then pseudo pacman if you're wondering why these colors are so strange that's because we installed zsh from the personal folder so um budgie there is a budgie git which we use and it seems to be today um yeah probably with desktop behind it that's it and then it's in conflict of course remove budgie desktop kit i say yeah get rid of it and then let's install this version of uh, desktop and then of course we need to restart but really really properly restart that's this button here and see if that solves our issue and that's how we need to approach our linux system solving issues uh, is, is a, a daily business let's see so this button works this means what what i'm gonna do is the following i'm gonna change the scripts today we are 14 July 2018. We have a problem with the Arco budgie. This means very simply put that we open this file. Okay, yes, and welcome, and yes. We have here, we made here a choice. We have made a choice to install the budgie desktop, you see? So that's a good choice from day to day, but Today it will be better to pseudo pacman minus s budgie desktop. And let's copy paste these guys. Opla, no confirm and not needed. So yeah. 
no confirmation. That's the most important part. But if you rerun it, then it will say, hey, it's already installed. So we will skip it. So Budgie Desktop is out when you will install it. And Budgie Desktop, um, sorry, again, Budgie Desktop Kit is out. And Budgie Desktop will be installed after my upload here. So that's how you fix things. That's maybe not so a bad idea to include it in the video. So back to the theming and the tweaking. So we do have a uh, element that works now and we can tweak it to what color will we take. Let's first look for a Greek wallpaper so we can have some inspiration. Uh, that's a nice one. Yeah, why not? That's a nice one. So clothes. So we have a bluish greenish thing. Actually a wallpaper I would like to put in my collection. So uh, something similar, something similar. Botticelli dark maybe? Yeah. Botticelli is a bluish kind of thing. So I need to have, well you see my colors now. So this blue and that blue. Well, similar, right? How about Sardi Colora Gothic? Let's open a file manager. It's quite similar to the color in the background. If you don't like this, and maybe there are others. It's too bad that we don't see the color in this um, slate. Yeah, slate is better, right? Yeah, much better. And then we have the cursor. Of course, I take pre-snow, you know by now. And then the fonts are big enough for me. Great, 11, 11. We could discuss about a font really, uh, not all sounds. Let's take Cantarell for a while and see if we like it and we can change it anytime we want, all right? Windows, where the buttons are, which are, oh, that's okay. Automatic tiling, okay, super. To the top, super. To the corner, not super. So we can't go for a quarter, we need to go for a half, but it's okay. The budget menu, we can say to the people, hey, I am using Arch Linux D and it's called Budgie. And we have a start here symbolic. So if you say, oh, it's, it's cool, the icon, but isn't there something else? Sure, so we need to go to the other locations, computer, and then user, share, icons, and then study, and then scalable, places, and I've made a lot of start here stuff. Oh, we don't see them. So Mate Symbolic, Star Trek if you're a fan, Ubuntu, but there is a Arch Linux Red, maybe in the bluish kind of dark blue. That's gonna probably not gonna be good. Let's take this one. Yeah, the standard blue. Compact mode. Um, do I like that? I don't recall. Do I like that? That's the compact mode. And it used to be like this. Rather like it so. Rollover mouse is a very interesting one. Brrr. Yep, that's better. And then we go on and then check whatever we need or want. Spacer sizes. The rest of the things normally I leave alone, I think. So that's your budgie desktop. Create new panel. Well, we'll have plank. And here you can add stuff to your installation. What do you need to run when you boot up Plank? Um, this should go actually. Uh -huh. Interesting to see. So it will not do anything, um, but it needs to be deleted anyway. So that's a um, to do on my list. So there you go. This is the budgie desktop settings. That's something to set all right. And um, there are also other things I need to find here. There is utilities. Is it the tweak tools? So the tweaks is also an interesting um, screen or setting. So I really like these fonts. Really, I the colors I really go well with the wallpaper. Anyway, so again, Alec Bolti, Chili Dark, Breeze Snow. So these settings are the same. Zoom, if you want to lock screen, there's no image selected, you can select it 
and then whoop, cancel select it as well fonts are here as well some more information i think keyboard and mouse more information this is the, um, the gnome settings um, we're looking at and sound startup windows so some of the things are double there but you check it out and, and change what you like i don't see anything really i would change at this point in time but hey so this is your look um and if you well maybe something i can add if i find it here the keyboard settings where is it again system tools i don't think it's in the tweaks it's always looking for where was it again each desktop environment is different keyboard and mouse um, maybe it's in here additional layouts disable well you will find it is somewhere in there you can make keyboard shortcuts if you want to and um, that will conclude this look so i'm going to use this um, wallpaper and this icon theme to make a nice picture of it and it's up to you of course to tweak it even more better uh, the way you like it but remember budgie we don't know what the future future will bring with this desktop environment but if you really like it then it's actually on solace all right cheers